Hello there everyone, it's me, Red Tier Gaming, and welcome to another The Sims 4 room building video. Today I am building a teenage girl's room called Almost a Phase. I just said the name about a minute ago and I forgot it already, but you know, that's how it works out. I'm gonna start by saying that you can download this from the gallery under the name Almost a Phase, or you can look me up, Red Tier Gaming is my origin ID. Or you can click in the description down below and it will take you directly to the download link. And then you can download it from there. Um, so as I said, I intended this to be like a really stereotypical teenage girl's room. So yes, this is a stereotype. So please do not be offended. And if you want to use it as any other type of room, you definitely can because... That's what me sharing this is all about, you making it your own, or you deciding you don't really want to like do anything with it and then you're like, alright, well now I don't have to put something together. So those are your modes of downloading, um, but yeah, let's keep on going with this. So as you saw earlier, I was using countertops to make a vanity type of thing, but then I decided against it because I was like, that's kind of generic. Why don't I actually use proper side tables and a shelf? So that's what I decided to go for. I added on lots of clutter decor that you would expect girls to have because you know that when girls are doing their makeup, they're looking at pictures of peaches or pears and apples. You know, that's just how people live their lives. Look at a nice picture of fruit and go about your daily routine. Um, I really tried to stay away from the whole pink theme though, just so you all know. Um, I don't end up going with any sort of chair or a bar stool or anything of that nature. I decided to use an ottoman, which you should see in just a second, but it's not showing up. So, oh well, there it is. Very classy, very, very nice. So I also put in large modern windows because why would I not put in large modern windows? I'm about to put in curtains, I believe, because why not have curtains? People should have curtains. Um, but this is pretty much the foundation of the entire room. That bright fuchsia bed is pretty much the closest thing to pink you get in this room and there isn't much color elsewhere in the room. So it's a very dark sort of room, honestly. I do end up putting a chair rather than having that console table. I use that little side table with the record player and then there's the little chair that I'm putting in. And I just thought that it looked really nice to add a little bit of class and I always like using classic furniture to contrast the stark modern furniture. That's just a thing that I like to do. So I did that. Dark floorboards because why would you not have dark floorboards? Dark floorboards are absolutely amazing. There are more pairs because why not? And I don't know. I just thought that I should put in a lot of gallery art wall feature type things because gallery art type wall feature things are very cool. As you all can tell, I can English quite well. Um, all of that stuff that I put on the vanity, quote unquote vanity, got deleted so I had to put it back. And a nice rug, forgot that I put a rug in. But as you can tell, it's still very um, chrome colored. I said chrome colored just because I didn't know how to describe it. It's a very dark black and white sort of theme. And that's about it. I was originally going to put a leaning picture on the floor, but then I remembered reading an article in which people questioned why people put furniture, like paintings on the floor. Like, that's not where you put paintings. So that's about it. I hope you all enjoyed this room build. You can go download it on the gallery. I hope you all enjoyed. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!